your energy forecast for Monday, July 8th. Okay, so we have the moon in Leo again here all day, definitely putting us more in alignment with our heart space, with our real, raw, true, authentic nature. What is exciting us? What is inspiring us? What it is that we need to tap into a new boldness, a new bravery, a new courage within ourselves in order to pursue. So we're definitely coming out of our shells, so to speak. We're still very much in cancer season. So that crabby shell exterior, of course, is still going to be there. But what's on the inside is this ooey gooey mess of affection, of emotion. We're definitely sorting through it. The moon in Leo definitely having us tapping into new ideas, big ideas that, of course, is going to help propel us to cultivate this new fire, new spark, new flame within us in order to actually pursue a brand new path, something that is much more in alignment with our higher selves, with our heart and soul space. So there are 11 different aspects taking place here today. Eight of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in this Leo energy going to make a positive interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, discipline, who was retrograde internalizing the renovation that needs to take place in our soul, in our spirit, in the way we're organizing our thoughts, our ideas, our beliefs, what we have to build and create within ourselves in order to actually start manifesting new situations, circumstances, and scenarios. Now, this is going to be a positive interaction, which means that we are going to gain a perspective on where we need to start. Start what you may ask. Start organizing our thoughts, our emotions, start getting in alignment so that we can get organized, not only in our inner realm, but start seeing that organization take place in our outer realm. We have something new to build. We have something new to create. We need the boundaries, the framework, if you will, to become a little bit stronger, a little bit tougher, if you will, inside of us first and foremost. Saturn is in Pisces energy. This is our belief system. This is our goal, our vision, our dream. We have to understand that the changes that we want to see in the external realm have to happen within us first and foremost. This is a realization on where we need to start building the cornerstone foundations of this new structure, this new framework of belief within ourselves, within the cosmos, within the universe, that we are kind of leveling up tapping into those creator energies, and therefore getting organized with what we have to do first. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Neptune, who of course is retrograde in Pisces energy as well. If you need a little bit of a reminder of what Saturn retrograde, Neptune's retrograde is all about, please go ahead, take a listen to those particular astral forecasts. We are going to be dealing with this energy, taking us all the way into the fall and where Neptune is involved, technically speaking, we're going all the way into December with this. This is an inner realization of what we need to let go of, what we need to bring a closure point to in order to start fresh in order to start new. Saturn and Neptune are going to be working together for the foreseeable future, especially when we move into 2025 and they both move into Aries energy. That is essentially when we start building the brand new foundation structure of new earth within ourselves and therefore having that manifest for the collective in the external realm. The moon interacting with Neptune in this way, putting us in a beautiful disposition within ourselves to tap into some creative energies in order to come up with new ideas, a new vision, new goal, new dream that we 100% feel compelled and called to do to call to pursue. Now, here's the thing, Neptune being retrograde, we do have to deal with life as it is, not for the way that we wish it would be. We do have to clean up certain chapters, certain remnants of the old version of self, the old realm and reality that the old version of self created before we can actually get started on building this new creation, this new goal, this new vision, this new dream. 
We have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this Cancer energy, sextiling, beautiful interaction with Uranus, the great awakener who is in Taurus energy. This is going to kind of zap us, give us the energy that we need in order to bust out of our shells. Again, we're in Cancer season, Venus in particular being in Cancer energy. She's kind of defensive. She's overly protective. Therefore, she's not forthcoming with her wants, with her needs, with her desires. This particular interaction, because Uranus sends a lightning bolt to our central nervous system, this is a pivot point where we're a little bit more spontaneous than normal, where we are pivoting away from this introverted protection type of vibe. And now we're going to put ourselves out there, especially where our affections are concerned, especially new, where new wants, needs, and desires are concerned, especially where boundaries are concerned. This is, again, the parameters that we are currently building in the present moment to help support our future selves, especially where our emotions are concerned. The moon in this Leo energy going to make a positive interaction with the sun in the cancer energy. And of course, anytime that the sun and the moon are coming together, there's going to be an aha moment. There's going to be an emotional awareness of what we want, what we need, what we desire, what we have to do, what we have to pursue. Side note, just an interesting little observation that I've made here. We have the moon and the sun in mutual reception. What does that mean? It means that the moon is in his rulership in cancer energy that the sun is in and the sun is in rulership in leo energy that the moon is in so it's like they've switched places this means that there's going to be an illumination in our emotions in our inner realm of awareness on what we have to do as far as our physical avatar goes in order to go out into the world and blaze a brand new path create a brand new foundation work within a new framework to set the tone on what we want to build, what we want to create, what we literally have to bring to life. Again, sun, life force energy, Leo, heart and soul of the Zodiac. This is where there's been a, let's call it spiritual change to our heart, our soul, our spirit that now needs to be expressed through the physical form of our physical body avatar out in the physical realm. So there is going to be an aha moment, an epiphany, an awareness on what we want to do, what we want to build, what we want to create from here and kind of activating the mood, the attitude, the disposition needed in order to do just that. We have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in the heart and soul of the Zodiac already in this Leo energy, sex tiling, beautiful interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, blessings, wisdom, in the Gemini energy, pushing the boundaries of our mental plane. Okay, so what we love about this is that Mercury rules over the Gemini energy that Jupiter is currently in. Jupiter turns the volume all the way up, magnifies whatever it is that's going on, whatever we're thinking, whatever we're feeling, whatever we're currently experiencing. Well, Mercury being in this Leo energy is getting heart and head aligned, getting on the same page because we have to be heart and head aligned before we can engage the physical body to take action and make moves to actually bring forth this new vision, this new goal, this new dream out into the physical realm. Mercury and Jupiter are working together to expand on the ideas that we're currently kind of just sitting in. This is just a new revelation, a new realization. Again, we're coming out of that new moon in Cancer energy. There's a little bit of a sliver, a glimmer of the moon now being illuminated in the night sky, which means that we're gaining insight. We're gaining clarity, albeit very slow process at this particular juncture. However, Mercury and Jupiter working together to push the boundaries of our ideas to really kind of expand on some of these, I'm going to call them new passion projects that we're starting to kind of percolate on and really put us in a situation to realize what we have to learn, what we have to explore, what we have to research before taking these ideas to the next level. This is going to be a major banger for clarity, for insight. So pay attention to the aha moments, to the epiphanies that are coming at you here today, because we're going to be working, expanding on those ideas in the weeks to come. The moon in Leo energy going to make a very tough interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who again is retrograde in this Pisces energy. 
So if you've been listening to me for any amount of time, you would know that just as we reach a pivotal point of change, just as we're starting to grow, just as we're starting to evolve, just as we're starting to align with a new level of awareness, a new level of insight, the dark force programming of our ego programming, our beast programming, if you will, that rules over the physical body kicks in tries to make us afraid of the changes that we know that we need to make, tries to bring out our fears, our doubts, our insecurities to try and keep us in a state of paralysis so that we do not push the boundaries of our growth, of our evolvement, of our awareness. Now, anytime that Saturn is being aspected in a negative way, negative Nancy comes out to play. And suddenly the ideas that we were just feeling good about, that we were just feeling semi-excited and inspired about, Suddenly we're picking them apart. We don't feel bold, brave, and courageous. Now we're kind of tapping into that cowardly little kitten situation instead of the proud lion that the Leo energy needs us to be. The moon in Leo energy having us kind of curl up in a ball. We don't feel so bold, so brave, so courageous. Saturn, on the other hand, really putting us through the ringer of all the ifs, ands, buts, shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Do we really want to do this? Do we want to grow? Do we want to start something new? Do we want to just kind of reframe the old and come to a certain place of settling with the familiar, even though we know that it's not helping us to grow, to evolve? Definitely going to have some negative thoughts, some negative emotions, definitely going to make us a lot more timid than we were earlier in the day. We're going to sit in that energy for like three hours ish. Okay. Mercury is then going to try beautiful interaction with the north node now this is going to bring us out of that funk really quick okay so mercury again ruler of the mental plane in leo energy the heart and soul of the zodiac the north node is trying to get us on the right path to reach our next mission to reach our soul's potential the north node is in aries energy really promoting individuality really promoting the solo quest in order for us to detach from some of the codependent relationships that we've been in so that we can get to know thyself. So Mercury and the North Node trining, because again, fire on fire action here. First of all, the fire is going to help kind of burn the cords of that negative ass narrative that we've been sitting in for the last three hours. Secondary to that, fire is regenerative. It's going to regenerate the fire, the passion, the flame needed in order for us to pursue a new path. Suddenly, the mental confusion clears. Suddenly, we start to see opportunities for growth, for movement, for action that we can take in the present moment to set us up with future self, future goals, future visions, future dreams. Again, we sit in that beautiful energy for a little bit and then the moon is going to get in the boxing ring and square off with Mars. Okay, so Mars is the god of war. He rules over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. He's in Taurus energy, fixed earth sign. So it's been a low, slow, steady progress to absolutely nowhere here in the physical realm if we're being real about it. The progress that we are making is on the inner realm. We're building ourselves up in self-esteem, self-confidence, self-worth, self-love. We're starting to realize what we're worthy of, what we're deserving of. We're starting to build a solid foundation of this self-worth, this self-confidence, this self-esteem, so that we can cultivate the fire, the spark, the flame needed in order to actually blaze a brand new path forward. But guess what? Mars has ants in his pants. He's getting angry. Why? Because he's agitated as all F because there are no moves for him to make now. He wants to make moves. He wants to take action. He wants to see some kind of shift, some kind of change in the physical realm, but we're not seeing it and we're losing our cool. Many of us were not born with patience. Many of us haven't been able to find that patience setting on Amazon to buy. Therefore, we are sitting in an agitated state, restless as all F. We are wanting to make this change. We're wanting to grow. We're wanting to evolve. We're wanting to shift. And we just don't see the option and opportunity in our physical realms to do that just yet. Now, we're going to sit in that for just a minute. The moon is going to help us out in a big way by making a positive interaction with Jupiter. Jupiter brings the confidence back. He's like the hype girl of the Zodiac. So he's going to bring us out of this funk. He's going to bring the agitation to a calm simmer. He's going to allow us to see that the true growth that needs to take place right now, the actual change 
the actual shift, although we want to see it in our physical realm, Jupiter's like, you know what? The true growth, the true, true change, the true transformation, the true shift has to happen within you first and foremost. You have to be the vibe, the frequency, the energy, the actual representation of the change that you want to see in the world. And so this is where we bring the boldness, the bravery, the courage back. This is where we're building in our confidence, building in our self-esteem, reassuring ourselves that we have to spend the time to plan out our new goal, new vision, new dreams, that we have to be strategic and calculated with our energy, with our actions moving forward. Again, we're in the year of eight, time to be tested in ways to see if we all deserve to have those creator abilities activated. This is a good reminder that we have to sit in our heart space. We have to remind ourselves why patience is a virtue that again, many of us were not born with, that we have to learn in order to actually have these short term sacrifices for the long term gain. The moon in Leo, then going to trine Chiron, the wounded healer in Aries energy. So again, we get some fire on fire action here. We are burning away the attachments, the perspective, the cords to the old version of self. We are building ourselves up in a way that is feeling very good, feels strong, feels confident. There's a sense of pride that we're tapping into that essentially is going to help this new version of self anchor in that much further. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Leo making a very positive interaction with Neptune, who of course is retrograde at the final degree of this Pisces energy. This is a refresher of our soul and spirit, a reminder of our goal and vision. This is putting into perspective where it is that we have to have trust in the plan, trust in ourselves, trust in the universe. This is where we have a little bit of a test of faith. And we are all going to come out of this particular test, really passing it with flying colors because we are going to kind of simmer down, remind ourselves that our new goal, new vision, new dream is definitely worth waiting for.